Hey there, this is René for GNS 3 Volt, and in this video I want to show you how to solve the PAGP LACP Ether Channel Lab. Uh, before we start, make sure um, you know that you're unable to do this lab in GNS 3, uh, because it's impossible to configure PAGP or LACP uh, by using the uh, switching module in GNS3. So you'll need to use real switches and the cheapest switch you can get to practice this is a 2950. Anyway, uh, let's take a look. This is the topology that I have. I got uh, three switches and there are two links between each switch pair. Uh, so we can use those two links to create an ether channel. Let's take a look at the first task. So what I'm going to do is configure PAGP between switch 1 and switch 2. Switch 1 should uh, actively try to create the ether channel and switch 2 should only respond to this. And both switch 1 and switch 2 are using the fast ethernet 13 and 14 links. So let's take a look. Um, one more thing, before you start configuring the ether channels, make sure that the interfaces that you're going to add to the uh, ether channel have the exact same configuration. So this switch has a blank configuration, so there's nothing on the interface, but if you change the duplex settings or the speed settings or anything else, make sure it's the exact same thing on both of the interfaces. Uh, okay, so let's create an ether channel here. Um, should be the channel group command. And we need to pick a number for the interface. I'm going to use number 12 because number 1 for switch 1 and number 2 for switch 2. So the number at least has a, um, a meaning uh, to me. So mode and now you need to choose the the we got a couple of options here you need to choose a mode so on this side i'm going to do desirable because it says enable pagp unconditionally so set it to desirable and then on switch to go to the uh, interface range command channel group mode and on this side I'm going to do auto because it says enable PAGP only if a PAGP device is detected. So let's set it to auto. And you can see that it creates the port channel over here. You can see the interfaces are going down. And one of them is back up again. This one is up. Now you can see the port channel interface is up so that means that we should have a working ether channel and of course we can verify this so show ether channel question mark and there's a couple of commands here so for example we can do summary you can see that port channel 12 is active it says SU the S stands for layer 2, it's a layer 2 ether channel. It's also possible to um, create a layer 3 ether channel. So that's the same thing as using the no switch port command on an interface. Uh, but keep in mind you need a layer 3 switch for this. Uh, it's also known as a routed port. The protocol is PAGP and these are the two interfaces that have been added to the ether channel. Uh, okay, so let's see what else do we have. I can do, for example, take a look at the port channel info. You can see the two interfaces. It says in use. PAGP is what we use. Time since last port bundled and so on. So there's a couple of show commands that you can use to uh, verify your ether channel. 
Let's continue with the next step. It says configure LACP between switch 1 and switch 3. Switch 1 should actively try to form the ether channel and switch 3 should only respond to requests. And switch 1 is using port 16 and 17. So let's use the range command again. Channel group, I'm going to pick number 13. So that's switch 1 connecting to switch 3. But you can pick any number that you like. Mode. And this time we're going to say active. Because it says enable LACP unconditionally. There we go. So it creates an interface. And on switch 3 I'm going to do the same configuration for port 13 and 14. So switch 3 over here. Channel group 13, mode, and on this side I'm going to use the passive keyword because it says enable LACP only if a LACP device is detected. There it goes. So you can see the interface is going down. And it takes a little while to form the ether channel, but we should be okay. The interfaces are up again, and I'm going to wait a little before uh, continuing, because I want to see the um, port channel interface coming up. There we go. So this is what I'm looking for. Interface port channel 13 changed to up, and the line protocol is up as well. So to verify our configuration, let's uh, take a look at some show commands again. Um, I can just do a show ether channel. It will say group 13, it's layer 2, there are only two ports active, we're using LACP. Um, you can also take a look at some detailed information. So we're running a layer 2 ether channel, we're using LACP. You can see that at this side I'm using the passive mode, port channel 13. And this might be useful because over here you can see the local information. So we're seeing interface fast ethernet 13 here, it says flex SP. Device is sending slow LAC PDUs, and I think this is something like a hello packet, not entirely sure. And P, it says it's in passive mode, but you can also see uh, the information from the other side. So this is switch 1, and it says flags SA, so sending slow LAC PDUs, and it's in active mode. So with this command you can check your local switch, but also the switch on the other side. And it gives you very detailed information for all the interfaces that belong to the ether channel. So if you're playing with ether channels, I would suggest just to do a show ether channel question mark and just try all the different commands that you have uh, over here. <coughs> There's not a lot of show commands, but um, it use, it's useful to be uh, familiar with them. <coughs> okay, so the next step. Configure an ether channel between switch 2 and switch 3. And you're not allowed to use any protocol for negotiation. So PAGP and LACP, uh, those are two uh, protocols that negotiate the um, uh, creation of an ether channel. But it's also possible just to enable the ether channel without using any negotiation. So let me show you how to do this. And on switch 2 and switch 3 we are using interface 16 and 17. So let's head over to switch 2 over here. And what I'll do is say channel group and I'm going to pick number 23. So switch 2 to switch 3. That's why I like uh, these numbers. 
mode enable ether channel only so it creates the port channel let's do the same thing on this switch channel group 23 mode on there it goes so you can see it's a bit faster too the port channel interface is up almost uh, immediately show ether channel 23 detail so you can see that port 16 is active port 17 is active protocol it shows a uh, dash symbol or minus symbol whatever you call it because we're not using any uh, protocol like LACP or PAGP and that's pretty much it it does say in use so my ether channel should be okay and it should be working alright um, so you saw PAGP, you saw LACP now we're, uh, we also configured the ether channel without any negotiation and there's one more thing I want to show you and that's how you can change the load balancing so between switch 1 and switch 2 I want to make sure that my ether channel uses destination MAC address load balancing and before I'm going to change it let's first find out what the de default load balancing uh, mechanism is so show ether channel load balance and you can see that on this particular switch the default load balancing mechanism is um, by source MAC address and the switch that I'm currently using is a 3560 and I think switch number 3 is a 3550 uh, yep it's a 3550 so let's see if it's uh, the same over here load balance ok so it's also uh, using source MAC address load balancing over here uh, my guess is that this is the default on all switches but maybe on a different switch or a different iOS version whatever uh, it uses a different load balancing mechanism so if we want we can change this and let me think how we have to do this um, Um, hmm, good question. I think it was a global command. Uh, it's not channel, it's not group, it's not either channel. So, what was it? Probably port channel. Here we go. So, it's a global command port channel load balance. And here you can specify some other things. So you can, uh, by default, so it's a source MAC address, but you can also choose for source IP, destination IP, destination MAC, and you can also load balance based on the combination of source and destination IP and source and destination MAC address. So depending on the kind of traffic you have running over your uh, ether channels. You might want to change this so uh, your traffic is more equally shared among the different uh, interfaces that you have. Um, Alright, so let's change it to destination MAC, like this. That's it. And I'm going to do this on switch 2 as well. There we go. That's it. Show Ether Channel load balance and you can see that it now says destination MAC address and that's it so that's the uh, that's the last step of this lab that's um, that's all that I have uh, for you so I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have any more questions about ether channels just leave a comment um, and I'll um, uh, I'll answer uh, your questions Anyway, thanks for watching and till next time.